Well, hey, YouTube. Been a while. But I just wanted to kindly show around and show that I haven't been completely laying around all, all summer long. I did get the, the kitchen repainted and even repainted the the ceiling up here. The ceiling was awful dark, but I've got it done and repainted and everything. I put up this vinyl tile back here and I installed a new light up there. It's LED, so I mean it doesn't, doesn't get hot or anything. And I'll say I didn't do a whole lot this year because, well, you couldn't get out. Well, everybody knows why you couldn't get out and do much or nothing. But I just kind of wanted to show we got living room here is I also repainted and did around a few different things and whatnot. Say, so, uh, the main thing I did was I built barn doors and I built me, a, I, I went down to Lowe's and got all the lumber and everything and spent a few days out in the backyard and I made these barn doors here for the, between that, so mother, mother would have some doors between the living room and her bedroom and they worked just fine. Roll right along and stop where they're supposed to there. Let's say so the only thing that I was upset about and I didn't notice it and mother didn't notice it until we put the doors to until I put the doors together and got them put up, got, got them hung and everything. Was sitting here thinking, boy, I did a really good job on them and everything. And, and then I got to look and I was like, what in the hell? Well, if you look, these boards here, this, is, this here is like one board, okay? And it has this design down the middle of it and they're tongue and groove boards which was fine. And this door here come out just fine. And then you get over to this door and it looks just fine until you get here. And the rest of the way over, no groove down the middle. I don't know if there's enough light in here to tell, but, um, <laughs> I don't know how in the world I got managed to get those three, four boards there flipped over the wrong way. But it'd be nearly impossible to go and redo the things now. Because once I I I, I screw I screwed these all these panels on here after I got the um, stuff put on there and then I spackled over the screw holes to, to make them flush before I painted it all. So I, I can't even tell where the screws are in the doors now. But <laughs> I've, I've kind of learned to live with it because it's like well I guess I could spend another hundred dollars down at Lowe's and, and get lumber and redo that one door again. Or I could just live with it. And right now I've decided to just live with it. This is a this is gonna be kind of a test video because we finally got rid of that crappy old um Frontier internet service 
the electric company here said they were going to run fiber optic cable and, and they've done so. And we got rid of that. So got, got rid of our old telephone internet service and, and, and went to fiber optic. And it's supposed to be where we, were, where we were getting like six megabytes a second or so. Now we're supposed to be getting around a hundred megabytes per second. And I have noticed that I can finally watch videos in high definition on the computer and stuff, whereas before it would automatically take them to like 480p or something like that. Or if it was a particularly good day, I might be able to watch them at 720 or something like that. Um, now the video is just load right up. So I was just kind of making a test video here to see how fast it'll load up to YouTube because used to a 13 minute video would take, oh gosh, about three hours to load. And I'm just wanting to kindly see here how, how long it'll take video to load. So I'd go outside, but it's pretty windy out there today. Hey, looks like it's been raining again. I don't know when that happened. But had it been within the last hour or so, because the road's just sopping wet looking out there and as windy as it is, I mean, you see that tree across the road's kind of swaying in the breeze a little bit, but we've, we've had up to 40 mile an hour gusts here today. And of course it's, we, we we had our first freeze here the other, the other night, so the the roses are dying on the rose bush there. But I'm just I say I'm 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 satisfied with the way the the place come out. Re, repainted this ceiling here too, and. Lord goodness, I hope I don't ever have to repaint them again for quite a few years to come. Because those old textured ceilings like that, you need a really, really thick um, roller, paint roller. And even then, you have to go back with a brush and dab in all the little spots where it's really deep and stuff because they don't, it's just, Oh God, I didn't, my arms was wore out from, from holding them up above me for so long, painting. <laughs> but yeah, it's, I'm a lot happier the, with, with the way it looks now. Now mother doesn't like the color. She says she can see blue in this gray on the walls. And at times I almost can, but most of the time to me, it just looks light gray and dark gray. <clears throat> but she swears up and down, it looks blue to her. I'm like, well, maybe I need to get you some of them in chroma colorblind glasses or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they have one for gray mother, but I don't know. Made a big old pot of beef vegetable soup last night and there's still quite a bit left so guess what we're having for supper tonight <laughs> uh, so yeah, I just just watch Ron start working on that fader radio and I say I mean it was just amazed me he took that thing out and that, that switch that was hooked between that antenna coil and the power switch. I would have been sitting for ages wondering what in the world that, <laughs> that was for. I say it just, and, and that big glob of solder over here, my goodness. It, I told him, I said, it looks like they took one of them big, ancient, foot-long, big round-as-your-finger 
soldering irons and, and some of that um, Sears solder like I've got out in my garage out there that looks like it was made for w old water pipes or something <laughs> use that on it I, I said I said if you look down closer at it it looks like they tried to make the make their own tin whiskers <laughs> come off of it but yeah Ron I'm 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 glad you like the dial on it. I I liked it when when I first saw it, but I was just like, man, I'll never figure this thing out. And and like you, I couldn't find a schematic on it anywhere, and and didn't know where to look to even find one, or even think to look for one. So so yeah, I'm 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 glad I'm glad it's in good hands. You. you Hopefully you'll have you another radio up and running here soon. Oh me. Well I don't know much else going on here, so I'll go ahead and get off of here and see how fast this video will upload and and I've got all my Christmas shopping done. If I pick up anything else, it'll just be like ancillary little things like stocking stuffers or something because I've, I've got got all the major shopping done. And I, I, I like to do that about this time of the year. Yeah, I know all, all the big sales and stuff are coming up, but I'd, I'd rather spend a couple of extra bucks before all those big sales than to have to deal with the hassle of all those big crowds that go along with those big sales. So, I guess this, I'll end this video here and say this is Gary signing off and thanks for watching.